Hello beautiful people, it's Trina. Welcome back to my channel. I am your scent gourmand and bag hag. Today we're talking bags. This is my second video today. It's uh, by the time you guys see this, I will be somewhere in South Korea hanging out with a friend. So I'm filming in advance. In this video, I'm gonna to introduce to you a bag I bought last month that I've only just worn the one time. And it's a bit of a fail in the one sense, but no regrets on the other and just let's get to it and I will explain why. Okay, Zara unboxing time. Let's do this. Two big boxes. One of them's kind of light, that's this one. Well, that wasn't very effective, was it? They package them in some nice wrapping here. One and two. Oh, these must be the Zara Red Temptation editions here. Yes, so we have the summer edition and we have something else. Oh, this is not what I... Oh, a true amore. All right, it's box one. Box two is much bigger. Okay, so what do we have here? We have Nobody Knows, True Amore, Someday, Sometimes, Les Heures Passant, and Spirited Romance. These guys were all on sale, and I'm going to, oh, look at that, they pasted them all up here. Let's open one and have a look at it. Into the wood, into the floral, into the joyful, into the floral. So we've got a whole bunch of, these are number one, and these are number two. We've got joyful, joyful, floral, floral, into the wood. I suspect I don't have the whole collection here, but these were all on sale. So I thought I would give them a go because they were like literally a thousand yen each, which is extremely affordable. So let's have a first impression of just this one here. Oh, that's, that's not bad. Oh, looking forward to this. So I'll be reviewing these a bit later, guys. And of course we have the Red Temptation series continued. We have the much awaited winter and summer edition of the collection. And as you know, I'm a fan of the Red Temptation. I've already gone through almost two bottles of the original Red Temptation. And this is the Elixir version that I've reviewed very recently on my channel. Um, looks like I've used a lot of it, but actually I've decanted it. But uh, yeah, so let's see how these size up later on. And next we have the um, Desert, Sand Desert and Sunset, and Sunset on the Red Dunes, on the Red Sand Dunes rather. I got this one just because I'd, I'd prefer to get the smaller ones just to test it, but they only had the big one available for this. Um, a little bit more premium packaging and also by a respected perfumer of mine. So as I said in an earlier video, um, Zara's doing a lot of, um, what are they called, collaborations with famous perfumers and that's extremely attractive to me. To me, it's more about the perfumer than the brand. And of course, uh, this is a way for the perfumer to still get paid and for the consumer to get uh, potentially more beautiful concoctions at a better price. So let's have a look at the packaging here. And of course, you got the Japanese translation. That's pretty nice looking, I think. Chunky bottle. Let's have a sniff of this one. Interesting. That sounds, it smells very familiar. Mmm. Reminds me of something. It'll come to me when I review this. All right. So that's these two here. Who's the perfumer for this? I'll put it on the screen. You might know the person. 
Next we have um, Olivia uh, Jacobetti, another collaboration with this perfumer. Uh, four fragrances from Zara have been released from this perfumer. I already have two of them here. I bought this previously, um, but I didn't reveal it to you yet. So I have Blanc en, so en Soleil, Popeline Blanche, Livre Blanche, uh, Blanche rather, and Vapeur Blanche. Blanc and Blanche, sorry. Livre Blanc, Vapeur Blanche, I guess feminine, masculine adjectives. That always bothered me studying French, so difficult, especially when you mix up with the other Latin languages. So I have the entire collection. Looking forward to sniff these and to sharing them with you later on. Generally speaking, I'm someone who likes to buy um, secondhand fragrances, better for the environment, better for my pocketbook, and obviously help someone out who wants to get rid of theirs. But you know, when Zara comes out with these very affordable fragrances, it's very tempting to just uh, blind buy them, which I don't like to do, but uh, hey, these prices were good. They had a sale. So there you go. Let's talk later. So this is a bag called Song Mont, and as you can see, it's one of the trendier, um, what are they called, hobo shaped bags that normally don't go with me, but I wanted to get on trend in two respects. One, by wearing a, a really sort of colorful bag, and two, by um, adopting this shape for the season. If it doesn't work out for me in the end, I'll, I'll pass it on, because I didn't pay a lot for this. I got it on eBay, and I heard about this brand from somewhere, it was trending somewhere. But I think, guys, that this is actually a fake because I think Songmon does make leather bags and this is definitely not leather and I did not pay much for this. So it's strange, eh? Even how the newer brands that are not necessarily luxury are also getting copied. And right away you can see it's a bit of a strange, let me put this forward there. This has got a very strange end section here and that's because there are actually one, two, three, four ways to wear this bag that completely sort of change the style. Right now I've got it in cross body bag mode and you can see that because um, the strap is long, first of all, but I've also actually purchased another knob from, let's see, can you see that? I've purchased this little thingy and I've put it through on the hole here. I got it from Amazon, I think. I just bought a few of them to make the strap longer because as you know, I'm big and tall, most bags don't fit me. This is at the smallest or the, sh uh, the longest length possible and it's still, you know, a little bit short. But otherwise I'm not going to wear it because I'm not going to wear a long strap bag. They just fall off my shoulder. And um, the, there are, the other two options I pro are just worn carried, like they don't fit on my shoulder. So basically it comes down to, you know, handheld or crossbody for me. So this is one way, but let me show you the other ways to wear this because it's quite fun. So this is going to take a few seconds to get off. So hold on a minute here. Okay, so I actually had to take a screw to remove these little things. So that's really not really practical. Um, this purse is supposed to be plug and play on the go. Once you've got it into this configuration though, without my little accoutrement accessories that I added to it, then you can move it around a bit more. So here's how you could, I don't know if that shows any better, but basically the strap is wrapped around the other way. And now I can, um, as you can see, it's on the, the plug, I guess, that was already there. So essentially it's shorter, it's a shoulder bag more now. And for some people, a cross body bag, if you're that lucky. So that is another way you can use it. And there's two holes that are already given. And with me, there's the, a lower hole at the bottom for a taller person. Anyway, you can always hack your bag. So that's the point to be taken here. Hack your bags if it doesn't work for you. So now you take off the strap. So that's the cross body or the shoulder version. If you take this off and you have just this little guy here, let me just open this up and something there. You have this a little concoction. It looks like a little banana. <laughs> but what you can do with this, interestingly, is you can pull these two together and sort of merge them with a little, well, oh, it's a bit finicky, but you can do it. Hold on a minute. There you go. You move it into this little dumpling. Now, isn't that the cutest thing? Unfortunately, though, it doesn't hold that much. But, you know, this kind of design is, I think, rather trendy. You could put your hand through it and hold it like this, or just hold it from the top here, whatever you want. I think this is just adorable. Great, 
great for uh, going out. So you can use it as a as a, something you hold in the day or a crossbody, and then at night move it into this little dumpling arrangement. So very cute. Ah, but it's not really easy to get in and out of, however. So this is interesting at the top. Once you're open, it's easier to get into. There's no zipper, it's just a magnet, and you hold it open like so, and inside you've got a slide pocket, and this is plastic lined for sure, and it's just an open, open section here, that's it. Now, okay, now the way I originally got the bag was with a shorter strap, which I'll just attach now, and this attaches a lot easier now. Hold on a minute. I guess I can show it to you. I'm just sliding it in the thing here. This is how I got it. So it's one of these, you know, late 90s over the shoulder doodads, but with my hefty shoulders, uh, this is not gonna be comfortable. I don't like having a bag going right under my armpit like that. It's not my vibe and it just slides right off. So not for me, so I would just hand carry it. But to be honest, I don't really like the way it holds. It just doesn't look right. So I don't know, a little bit of a disappointment with this bag, but it's been fun to play with it. I like the colors. I'll probably wear it a few more times and then um, sadly it'll probably go out of my collection. And speaking of collections and what's going on in my bag world, um, I've departed with a lot of bags um, this year. I've also added a few. So I think my next video or sometime in the future, I'm gonna share with you what I got rid of the past year and why, if that's of interest to you. And of course, there'll be a lot more perfume uh, reviews coming your way. So in any case, that is the Songmont, uh, I don't know, what do you call this bag? I'll put it up here somewhere when I find out. And these particular ones from their own original website, not eBay, be careful. These are a few hundred dollars, I think, and I think I got mine for less than 50, so. Did I think I was not gonna get a fake on eBay? You know, it's not the Japanese market where you can get secondhand goods or new goods at really discount prices. I don't have seem to have the same amount of luck when it comes to eBay as I do here in Japan. But anyways, the, if you go to the Songmont website, I'll put the link below, you can see that I think currently these come in three colors. And if they are leather, then I think they might be a reasonable um, purchase for a lot of you because it is, it is, it's, it's cute. There's one, two, three, f at least four different ways you can wear it. You can add something like I did to make it even longer. And yeah, it's, it's adorable. That's all I gotta say. Okay, I'll see you in the next video, my lovelies. Bag and Frag Hag, signing out. Bye-bye.